Riga, Latvia. So today is the beginning of August. I believe we are the 4th of August. So it's been about two months since my last recording. Um, time flies so fast. Um, I had intended to post more videos and record more videos, but um, I think, yeah, my last video was probably posted at the beginning of June and a lot of things have happened. As you can see, I'm in a different location and that's because we moved house, so that happened um, over these past few weeks and I have also been traveling quite a bit. I went back to France for a couple of weeks um, to spend time with my family. So all of that happened and yeah, I haven't been able to sit down and share um, as much as I would have liked to. So that's why I'm here today. <laughs> so um, you've probably seen that I started to post those monthly memories videos which um, are some kind of collage of moments, um, memories, video memories of the past month and I really really enjoy putting those segments together and hopefully I will be able to um, look back um, and yeah just enjoy them in the next coming years so yeah and in addition to that I thought that it could be also nice to share um, every month the things that I have enjoyed throughout the past month though so, so it could be um, some yarns that I have been using some tea that I discovered or any other product that I have enjoyed using so this month I have a couple of things to share not so many, but um, I thought that it could be nice um, to share those with you. So I'm, I'm going to start with um, this product, which is a, I'm sorry if I mispronounce it. I think it's called Yoboba oil. Um, in French it's Joboba, so I don't speak in English, you pronounce it. You pronounce it this way, so I would say it's Yoboba oil. Um, and I bought this in June actually, so I've been using it throughout the month of June and throughout the month of throughout July, and um, I use this quite a bit for many different things. Um, I use it as a makeup remover, I use it as a moisturizer, I use it um, especially on my elbows area because I suffer from psoriasis, so this area needs to be very moist, so I use that a lot. Um, and yeah, I cut off basically a lot of products, um, and I, I try to use products that are as natural as possible, so I downsized quite a bit, and this product probably replaces five or six different um, things that I don't use anymore. Um, it's also um, oil that I use in my hair, for example, so I really, really enjoy that. Um, there's a couple of recipes on Instagram, not on Instagram, sorry, on YouTube, um, that show you how to make your own um, makeup remover um, by blending different oils. So um, at the moment, I just use that pure, but in the future, I might start blending my own oils. Um, so yeah, you could definitely check out um, how to use oil in your in your routine um, because I really really <laughs> enjoy using that and it's also um, cost effective. So the next thing that I'm going to talk about is. So, as you can imagine, from June to now, 
I have done a lot of knitting. I've been using different yarns and I finished a couple of patterns. Uh, I have new designs coming out very soon, so all of that is very exciting. And one of the designs that I have recently completed use, uses um, Loft from Brooklyn, Tre Brooklyn Treat. Sorry. So Loft is their fingering weight yarn and that comes in a 50 gram skin and there's 275 yards and it's made of a uh, Targi Columbia sheep. So I have heard a lot of things <laughs> about this yarn and um, why some people don't really enjoy using it um, because the yarn is quite fragile and they've experienced some breakage with um, the yarn as they were knitting. Um, I, it happened to me only once and that's because I did a provisional hair song and um, I, when I joined the, um, the two ends together, basically I tried to avoid, avoid the hole in the middle so I tensioned um, probably way more than I usually would and the yarn broke at this point but um, it's not something that would bother me at all since I um, joined the ends together um, I just wet the two threads of, two threads of yarn together and uh, fell them together and then keep knitting so when that happened it wasn't really a problem to me um, I just keep going really and after that I haven't experienced any problems at all so um, yeah I don't think that that's something that should um, stop you from trying this yarn um, especially when you know it comes in a 50 gram skin so there's not much to lose you can always make um, a small project like a pair of mittens or a hat um, a project a pattern that only requires one skin just to give it a try and um, you know that um, every knitter knits differently, so um, and we all we all have different yarn taste, tastes. So something that one knitter might like, another knitter, another knitter might enjoy it very much. So um, yeah, just give it a try. Um, this is the wood smoke colorway. Um, so it's I don't know if it's dye. <laughs> it's very natural, sheepy to me. Uh, but it's probably, probably died. Um, I just loved knitting with this. I knit with a 3.75 millimeter needle, but I could have went, I could have uh, used um, smaller needles definitely um, for that. And I also have one skin of Shelter, which is the rusted weight yarn, and I'm really, really excited to try that out as well. So yeah. That's my crush of the month, if you will, or the past month. So the next thing that I have really enjoyed using is actually another yarn. And I got this yarn only a couple of days ago, so that's something that came later in the month, but still in, um, still during July, so I thought that was, um, I could still share it. So, um, I, bought this yarn in my LYS, which is Hobby Wool. Um, it's a beautiful um, yarn shop located in the um, in Riga's old town. So I just need to walk for 15 to 20 minutes to reach the old town and um, and yeah, just enjoy some time in this gorgeous, gorgeous um, yarn shop. And next time that I will go, I will definitely bring you with me and show you around. So they recently started carrying more yarn. It's more like a souvenir shop rather than a proper yarn shop, if you will. But as I said, they started, they recently started carrying more yarn. So that's something really, really exciting. And so as I was there, <laughs> I saw a couple of beautiful gray yarns that were really really appealing and 
I stayed there for a little while and considered all of the patterns that I could make with, um, with the yarn. And I actually was very tempted to get the lightest shade of grey to make some kind of Fair Isle sweater. But um, I actually decided to get the charcoal grey one. And I'm really, really glad, glad I did because I went back to the shop the next day. Um, I met Nathan, Nathan from the Submatician podcast. Um, and we went back there the next day and they didn't have this yarn or the specific shade anymore in the shop. So I'm really, really glad I bought five balls of that. And yeah, just, I really, really enjoy it. So I'm gonna show you the swatch and then talk a little bit about Nathan because that was really <laughs> the journey on the top of my week, if you will. So that's the swatch that I made. I made this little swatch um, the same evening actually um, with the yarn and I'm just using simple stockinette and garter stitch um, or knit and pearls in the round and it creates such beautiful, beautiful fabric. So it, yeah, the fabric is quite, it's a rustic yarn. Um, there's still a little bit of lanolin in the yarn. You can feel um, a bit of oils on your hands as you knit. Um, it creates quite a light, airy fabric. Um, and I immediately thought of making a jumper with this yarn. Um, I think that could make such a beautiful, um, light, lightweight autumn or winter piece. And the color is really, really beautiful, very versatile. So that's something that I could wear a lot this winter. Um, and the fall, if I manage to finish it in time. So I've been working with this yarn recently quite a bit, and it's such joy to pick up. Um, in the evenings and knit a few rows on it. It's such, such a joy. So there's not much information on the yarn, unfortunately. I don't know if it's, um, if the yarn was imported or if it's, it's been processed here. There's really, really no information on the label whatsoever. It only says that it's 100% wool and the yarn comes in 100 grams and there's 350 meters. So I don't really know, but I really like it. So in the end, it doesn't really matter. I'm just, I'm just really curious. And obviously, I searched on Ravelry if there was any information regarding this yarn, but um, I haven't been able to find anything. So as I mentioned, um, Nathan from the Submedition podcast uh, came to Riga last weekend and we met on Sunday. Um, we enjoyed a really nice conversation, uh, drink coffee and uh, spend a bit of time in Hobibo and that was great. That was great to meet him and talk about knitting. We talked a little bit about politics as well, but <laughs> um, mostly knitting and he does such a beautiful job with double knitting, which is something that I'm completely new to. Um, I've never done double knitting before, but um, he showed me the sample that he was working on and it looked absolutely beautiful. Um, if you've never um, seen double knitting before, it's basically, well, the project that he showed me is like their aisle, so um, color work, but it's reversible so it means that the wrong side so there's two wrong sides and two right sides so the two wrong sides are facing each other and so the piece is reversible so there's two right sides if you will so yeah i just love his work so so much and um he's also a designer so if you want to try um double knitting, I will highly recommend you to check out his patterns. I will link all of the information below so you can have a look and maybe try some double knitting. So I think that that's it for now. Um, that's more or less um, what I've, the things that I have 
and really enjoy using this month or this past month. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to the next one and sharing um, even more things. Even though that's the beginning of the month, I have been working with some very new to me, exciting, exciting yarn. So I will share um, that with you um, in September already. So um, yeah, that's it for now. Um, I will include a little mini studio tour um, at the end of the video. So if that's something that you're interested in, you can definitely um, watch it. And yeah, I will chat with you very soon again, I hope. And until then, happy knitting!